Veterans Memorial Park. From the ceremony at Veterans Memorial Park, Rome, New York. Let our spirits be proud of them, let our hearts be compassionate, and our hearts clear and determined and given honor and respect. And let us be dependent upon the loving kindness of our Lord, our God. As we remember the departed, let us be true soldiers in war and on peace. Let us be courageous protectors and true guardians of freedom. Let us be true masters of brother, brotherly love. O oh Lord, guide us in a way, moral responsibilities, enlighten us who are true believers in ethics and justice. Let this day be a day of commemoration and honor of those who sacrificed their lives in order to give us liberty and to our nation's security. Remember them, O oh Lord in your mercy and have compassion on us. Make us a generation of wisdom, discipline, and faith. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Father. Mayor Rizzo. Good morning. Thank you all for being here this morning to celebrate this Memorial Day, where we remember all those who paid the ultimate price and sacrifice so that we might live in this great country, the greatest in the world. But at this Memorial Day, I think we would be remiss if we didn't also recognize some of the turmoil that's happening overseas in the Ukraine and also here in our own country in Buffalo and Texas. These are sad times for us to have these types of incidences on our soil. And I'd like everyone to just take a, a minute, a moment of silence to remember all of those victims and all of those who are unfortunately unwilling participants of a war in Ukraine. Does that include the Russians? Thank you. And thank you to the Veterans Council and all of the different veterans agencies for remembering every year that we need to always remember those who served for our great country and that some of these groups are getting a little bit smaller, but they're here and we thank you for doing that. And I hope that everyone enjoys the day when we leave here today and please remember all day long, I'm sure some of you have someone in your family that served at some point in the military. So we would like to remember them today and also always to pray for those who are still on active duty. Thank you, Mayor. On the next part of the program, we're going to be retiring the colors and raising the colors. Uh, from the Eastern Air Defense Sector, we have uh, Staff Sergeant Q, Tech Sergeant Leclerc that will be doing that presentation. Uh, we also been flying the flag uh, in honor of James W. Smitty Smith of Rome. Went to be with the Lord on March 26, 2020, with his family by his side. They've been a patient at St. Luke's Hospital since March 8th of that year. He was born in Rome September 13, 1931. He was the son of the late Marvin and Agnes Rowe Smith. He was a 1950 graduate of Rome Free Academy, and on December 1st, 1951, he was united in marriage to Shirley Mortis, a blessed union of 68 years. Jim proudly served his country as an Army veteran of the Korean War from 1951 to 1953. Upon his return from Korea in 1953, he went to work in Nagamoa for 35 years in different positions before retiring as an electric gas serviceman in 1990. He, along with his son Scott, founded Scotty's Hot Dogs in 1978, in which he was a business owner until his passing. He can be found every weekday in the food truck, on the base, or every weekend at the fair or festival, selling food and telling his many stories. Everyone knew him for his saying, here is a beauty, every time he served one of his famous sausages and hot dogs. He did driveway sailing, Smitty sailing, for 50 years. He loved spending time with his family and friends, spending 29 years wintering in Florida with Shirley. He loved his antique metropolitans and enjoyed proudly exhibiting them in car shows throughout the area. 
He was a member of the Elks Club, the Moose Club, the Polish Show, the Ukrainian Club, and the Knights of Columbus, and many others during his lifetime. He was also a member and past president of the Rome Brooklyn Ladder Company No. 1. He is survived by his two sons, Randy and his wife, Maureen, Maureen, a Scott, and daughter-in-law, Barb, four grandchildren, Ashley Copperweek, husband, Justin, Daniel White, husband, Andrew, Justin Smith, wife, Lauren, Kayla Smith, two great-grandchildren, Adeline Copperweek, and Ohia White, sister, Elizabeth Crouch, and brother, Max Smith. He was previously by his wife, Shirley, in November 2019, and the flag mm -hmm. will be presented to his son, Scott. These guys really need to rehearse for next year. <laughs> As the flag is being folded, Commander Dutton from Henry P. Smith Post will explain the meaning of each fold.
The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of a veteran departing our ranks and who gave a portion of his or her life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. As American citizens trusting in God, it is to him who turn in times of peace as well in times of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country for the words of Stephen Carr, our country in dealing with other countries. May she always be right, but is still our country right or wrong? The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all enemies, whether they be within or without of the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadows of death, that we might see the light of day and to honor our mother for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since he or she was first born. The eleventh fold is the eyes of the Hebrew citizen, it represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon. They really the need to purchase for next God, year. Abraham, Isaiah, Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of the Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our national model <clears throat> and God we trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked, it has the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones and were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the U.S. Armed Forces, preserving for us the right, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. Remind me for next year to tell them to work on the audio.
please uncover. On this Memorial Day weekend, we are reminded you, O Lord, our God, our Creator, have blessed us all present here today as we have memorialized those who have died in our service of our nation to preserve liberty and freedom in our own land and in our world. As we conclude the service before your throne of grace, we remember again all of those ultimate sacrifices given great to America's greatest. Progress and richness, may your memory of them be an honorable one. With grateful hearts, full of thanksgiving to you and to your grace and to your mercy. The fallen, never in the air, or on the land, or in the sea, have provided for that which we appreciate today. Let us never forget, and now, O oh Lord, be gracious and merciful to us, and let your, shine, your light shine upon us, for you are our God and our Savior, King of kings, Lord of lords, and unto you we ascribe glory now and forevermore. Amen. Ever. United States Air Force, Acton, Richard, Korea, Allen, Roger E., Anna, Robert, Joseph, Baumir, John, Bennett, William James, 